Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, I am really trying with the whole consistency thing. I really hope you guys um oh my lash is sticking. I really hope you guys are enjoying the content and whatever. Um thought I'd just take a little more different approach and do videos that have been like highly requested on my Instagram. So today's video is gonna be an anti-flashback slash highlighting and contouring routine because a lot of people have been asking me about it more the flashback than the highlighting. So um yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. So if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up at the at the end and if you haven't already please subscribe and yeah just leave me any comments on what you'd like to see and yeah thank you so much for watching so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my skin so I'm going to first go in with this Bobbi Brown um, hydrating eye cream um, I never really was using eye cream, eye cream in the past until a shoot I went to last week um, the lady used eye cream on my under eyes because she was like they were looking a little dry and dull whatever and that's probably because of like my sinus so um, I found that like when I use, since I started using eye cream, my highlight has just been looking 100% like, I don't even know, like next level. So, um, yeah, I'm going to apply this on my under eye. I will link it um, below and also put down the price so you guys know. I usually put it like around my whole entire eye but I've already done my eyes so I actually just forgot about it the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this um, Bobbi Brown hydrating face cream as a moisturizer um, I usually wear like moisturizer under my primer and this is the one that I'm using today since I'm using the eye cream and yeah it's been so great like I've been using it for the past two days and my makeup has just been looking so flawless so yeah I think these are testers though because I got it in like a press pack um, when I was running a, a Bobby Brown competition and I don't think they come this small but yeah I'm really enjoying them the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my face using this um, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour hydrating mist um, I want to use a pore minimizer first though so I'm going to be using this Elizabeth Arden Flawless Start Instant Perfecting Primer this is like next level um, it's almost it works the same as um, the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer but it's just so silky and just so luxurious oh, wow but I mean I think it's probably like expensive so um, in my last video a lot of people kept saying oh these prices aren't student friendly what are what, what? So if you don't want to break the bank, then um, I suggest you probably get the Maybelline um, Baby Skin. It's working. It works well for me, so you don't really need to be out here spending like a million dollars on primer. Um, yeah, I'm just going to spray my face like that. Woo. With fixing spray... I like to spray it before, during, and after. Um, the reason why I spray it before is because it just helps like with my foundation application. It's a little more flawless and during obviously helps everything like blend together. The foundation, the concealer, and um, the contour, whatever. And after is obviously to get rid of that like freshly, that powdery effect from that usually, that makeup usually has. So that's just how I've always done it. And I think it's an important part in avoiding flashback. Well, especially at the end of your makeup. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the NYX Total Drop Foundation. Um, I actually like this foundation, but I just never get an opportunity to use it. It's probably because like it's really tickly and I just don't like how tickly it is and runny it is. But I'm probably talking nonsense, so I'm going to use this foundation anyway. I mean it's great it's like I, I really don't feel like any type of way about it and I think it's because I didn't expect it to be I didn't expect the coverage to be 
as good as it is so I'm still warming up to it I love the color I love a warm um, foundation it's just so amazing it almost reminds me of my um, L'Oreal infallible foundation well the, the tone and yeah more the tone than anything as you can see application is so easy um, I don't like putting too much foundation under my eye because apparently that's what makes your under eyes dark so ever since I heard that I'm just trying to avoid putting foundation in the areas where I don't need to because I'm going to put concealer under there anyway afterwards and also because like usually like my hair is laid and ugh, wow I don't want to make a mess out of okay I hate my applying foundation on my forehead ever since I started wearing makeup I just always hated it it's just such an awkward area for me i think it's just because like it's so wide and uh it's a waste of foundation I'm just gonna build up down here and here i hope you guys are remembering to let the foundation settle into your skin first before building it up because that's how you build a foundation for those of you guys that didn't watch my last video, now you know. Otherwise, if you try to build it up before it's settled, it will just move and you will be very disappointed. So anyway, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my face. I'm going to be using um, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. Sorry, my foundation is in the shade Cappuccino and that's T. TCDF17. Well, it's number 17. Okay, um, applying the concealer here really helps blend out your um the the concealer that you use to highlight your brows so I really love it and well it also makes your forehead pop but I use it mostly to blend out this concealer over here you'll see when I start blending and applying concealer down here often when I apply concealer down here I don't really have to apply the dark excuse me a darker shade of concealer because it's like it's called reverse contouring I'll actually apply the darker shade afterwards so you guys can see that there usually isn't a need for me to do it it's just because like I like to be extra and stuff and it helps keep the concealer right where I want it to be on the nose as well it doesn't move it around too much because some brushes just end up leaving you with no concealer and then you have to apply some more and it just really wastes your concealer so finding the right brush to um, Finding the right brushes generally is like very important. It saves you product, it saves you time, and yeah, it just saves you like a lot. Do you guys see what I mean about how it helps blend out the concealer? And you need to make sure that um, the pressure that you're applying is not too much because you see it does move your concealer so just slight little dabs little dabs and back to your brow like that and then I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and just blend out 
the highlighter on my nose. So do you guys see that it looks like it looks as if I've already contoured because obviously my foundation is darker and um, the highlight the concealer I used to highlight is lighter so that's what they mean by reverse contouring for those that didn't know I'm sure a lot of people know though but anyway the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna contour my face and I'm gonna be using this um, L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick and it's in the shade Espresso 240. I love foundation sticks over um, those LA Girl Pro um, concealer things. It's just so much easier to, to use. So I'm going to bring down my contour from my sideburns or the beginning of my ear like that and I'm going to hug my face like that. and the middle of my nose of course and my hairline and under my jawline and sometimes around my lips but you don't have to do that. I just do that because I saw an, an American lady doing it and I was just like, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. So I'm using the same brush I used to blend out my um, highlighting concealer and I'm gonna blend that out just like that. So the next thing I'll do is I will powder the rest of my face before I go into setting my concealer just in case I don't know why I do that actually but it's just the way I do things. So what I'm going to be using to powder my face is I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Caramel. It is a shade lighter than I am but um, for the purposes of keeping my highlights I will use this shade and then I will um, set my contour with obviously a darker shade so you, you won't be able to see I don't put this where I highlighted my face I only put it in the areas where I didn't really well obviously first in the areas where I contoured and then in the other areas of my face like the side of my my forehead like that my jawline And just my nose generally because ugh, it just sweats so much so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be setting my um, highlights aka preventing flashback Woo! and I'm gonna be using this um, Elizabeth Arden translucent high performance blurring loose powder um, if you did watch my last video you will um, know that I said it does work like um, the Sasha Buttercup powder um, it's very um, smooth and silky and just like soft and it settles into your skin really really fast so um, I like that and I'm going to be using I think this is a blush brush actually but um, I got it from Clicks I think but, but it's a real te techniques brush if you are interested so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to dip I don't know if you guys can see I'm going to dip the brush like that into the powder and it's going to collect the powder like that and I'm just going to tap on it so it drops the powder I don't want too much powder on the brush and then I'm going to look up and place the powder under my eye like that I'm going to do the same for this eye it's very important to look up otherwise 
then there's no point in you doing this because your foundation i mean your concealer will still be cracking under your eyes so look up so that the foundation settles into the areas where your concealer is cracking and then you can look down and end it all out don't worry about it looking white like that because then that's where the setting spray comes in but you can try to blend it out as far as possible using the same brush that you use to apply or you can just apply some more and then blend out I'm going to do the same thing for my nose What I've learned with um, preventing flashback is that you need to apply a good amount of concealer, you also need to apply a good amount of powder and you need to evenly distribute the powder in the areas where you've applied the concealer. So if you, you've applied your concealer all the way here and then you only apply your powder here, down here it will flash back. You know what I mean? So apply a good amount of concealer, blend it out properly, apply a good amount of powder over the concealer and then blend that out properly because I think what creates the flashback is that uneven distribution of the two. So make sure that you've got the same amount of the two and they're both evenly distributed amongst like the areas under the eye or whatever. So um yeah. I'm also going to apply some on my brows because I didn't set my concealer since um, I just wanted a more um, in-depth color on my lid. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my contour with um, this next 3 steps to sculpt. There is nothing else in the whole wide world I would ever use to set my contour except for this beauty. What what an amazing product guys like I get emotional actually <laughs> wow how it goes pull it down from your hairline down in circular motions all the way down to under your cheekbone very gentle um grip on the the brush I mean no not not a gentle grip but gentle whatever just don't press your heart your hand down too hard onto your face because then it will look unblended same for this side this is the Beyonce of like um, contour kits guys because like yo it's just so great like it's so smooth the powder is just so easy to blend it doesn't crack and so the next thing i'm going to do to make sure that my powder is set and my contour my highlight is set is i'm going to go in back in with this Elizabeth Arden 8 hour um, Mir Miracle Hydrating Mist just to get rid of that powdery white effect and get my skin back to looking dewy that's all from my anti-flashback um, highlighting and contouring routine I'm just gonna um, go on with some blush and finish off my look and yeah I'll be right back Okay guys, so I am back. Uh, I just finished bronzing and blushing and highlighting my face um, and putting on lipstick. Just finishing off the complete look. So yeah, that's how I go about highlighting and contouring and preventing flashback on my face. If you do like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, please, 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 please. please please subscribe. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.